I'm going to do a review of basically every movie and every TV show that's existed in the past several decades in the American media. Um, and I want to say they're all psyops. <laughs> I made a passing remark in a, a video a couple days ago when I was actually talking about TV shows randomly. This is very uncharacteristic for me. I don't review media. Um, but I made a passing remark that Game of Thrones is obviously a big psyop, like a giant psyop. Whether it means to be or not, it is accidentally a psyop. And uh, some people ask me, what do you mean by that? I understand what you mean. Like, I get it. There's something weird about that show, and there's something weird about shows and movies just in general in America. Uh, mostly because everyone kind of hates them. Like, people hated the way Game of Thrones ended. They hate, the, like, there are a lot of movies nowadays that critics just love, and they're so popular, and they're memed in public, and everyone seems to hate them. What's going on with that? And uh, my answer is actually not, a lot of people might assume it's something narrowly political. I think it's, it's much wider than that. I mean, that's part of it, but... Um, I, I think the way to think of it is that American movies, and this of course has spread to movies made in other countries that are kind of under the thumb of America, but American movies and TV shows in general are about, uh, they're about being sordid. They're about being, uh, corrupt. They're about being, they're about putting nastiness in your face, violence in your face, sex in your face, um, to, for multiple reasons. One, to, I, I guess, get a kind of edgy reaction from you. Um, but also to, to mm, I don't know, create a new vision of what society should be like or what it is like, even if it is directly contrary to your experience. So here's an interesting fact to think of, okay? So if you poll kids nowadays, or kids, like, I mean, this has really always been true, but if you poll kids in high school or kids in college, uh, and you ask them questions like, how many of people your age or how many people in your class or whatever... Um, do you think are partying over the weekends, or taking lots of drugs, or getting drunk, uh, or having sex, or any of this kind of stuff? The one interesting th thing about polls like this is that kids will always drastically overestimate how much their friends are engaging in various degenerate behaviors, be that having dr you know, taking drugs, having promiscuous sex, all this kind of stuff, right? Um, so they will drastically overestimate uh, the extent to other that other people do this, right? Um, of their own age. And there are probably multiple reasons for that. One of it is just like the background radiation of media, which is constantly, like every movie uh, is about this kind of stuff. Like they can't, you can't have a movie nowadays that's just about normal people doing normal things. It all has to be hammed up. There has to be alcohol and sex and all this kind of stuff in it. That's just not, you, like you, people cannot write normal plots anymore. You have to amp that kind of stuff up. But also, I think in particular, people are very afraid of seeming like dorks when they answer these things. When they say, eh, you know what, I don't think people are actually doing that because that makes them look like a dork because they're not doing it right. They're admitting that they're not. Um, and it also makes them feel naive. In reality, they're not actually being naive. In reality, like if you look at polls, in fact, not just that, like p kids, especially in America, they're doing so much less of this stuff. I mean, now everything is just like online anyway. Like kids, like, I don't know, they, it's like they don't even have promiscuous sex anymore because we've moved on to more corrupt things that are just, you know, on the, using your cell phone. Um, so all of that is to say that I think um, there's this, t so if you take a person like that, if you take a person who looks at the world like that and put them in front of a movie screen uh, and you so show all this absurdity, let's say you show stuff that is basically torture porn in a horror movie where people are getting mutilated and killed, uh, or you show them uh, a movie about a family where everyone hates each other and all this kind of stuff, uh, or a movie, a, a, a drama where everyone is uh, adulterous and everyone is having sex with each other. There's this, uh, a lot of people are like afraid to say, you know what, I think that, I think this is stupid. Like, I think this is dumb. Uh, and the reason they're afraid to say that is because it makes them seem naive. It makes them seem, I don't know, like, uh, even though, of course, they're making a very sensible judgment, right? Now, of course, there is a reason that, uh, you know, in general, we expect things in movies to be a little more hammed up from reality. But we're now at a point in the United States where things are so nutty in terms of the stuff in media that uh, they just have no semblance to reality. And if they do have a semblance to reality, it is a causative relationship. And what I mean by that is that this kind of media is now setting a standard for what's normal.
right? So Game of Thrones is a great example because, I mean, it's just so absurd and so ridiculous where um, there's just, everyone is it has incredibly selfish motives, as everyone knows. Uh, the only uh, noble guy gets killed off very quick, and everyone else is just very selfish and, and like, uh, they only care about sex and power and all this kind of stuff, and they're all killing each other and manipulating each other, and uh, frankly, even however bad people are nowadays, that that is not how reality works, I, I just have to say. Like, some, even bad people have their own kind of virtues that they're acting on. Uh, they might not, like, acknowledge it or something like that. So when you look at a show like Game of Thrones, and this is not just for Game of Thrones, this is just, like, honestly for anything, it's not so much that characters are developing or changing or anything. There might be some of that, but it's it's always, like, developing, frankly, in a, a bad way, or they're doing something like Machiavellian or, or I don't know, becoming jaded. Um, but it's all, it really, you can look at series like that as this is like an unfolding, a slow moving, unfolding tragedy of all of these people destroying each other and destroying themselves. And we, people, of course, through Game of Thrones hoped that, uh, oh, there's going to be some poetic ending to it. And it ends up there wasn't. And it was just ha ha at those people because, you know, you, you got what you deserved. You got what you watched that entire time. Um, so that I think is kind of the norm. You just have media that is, um, just like psychologically jarring in a way. Like it puts absurdities in your face. It puts things that are directly contrary to reality that are just like, uh, that are just nasty, that are just, there's so much violence and, and like just degeneracy and psychopathy and stuff like this. And not only are you afraid to say, yeah, this is stupid, I'm sorry, this is cringe, like, this is ridiculous, like, this, this has no semblance to reality, and what kind of weird perverts create this kind of stuff? People don't want to say that, because that is some kind of, that might be construed as a kind of naivete. Uh, but aside from that, this actually does affect reality. Like, when you have seen decades of, of people just acting like this, and, oh, and this is the gritty real world, that's Game of Thrones, it's the gritty real world, which is so absurd, then that obviously creates the idea that this is how people are. You might, now, everyone you know in real life doesn't work like that, but it creates the idea that this is how it's supposed to be, right? And so that is why it's a psyop, whether it's intentional or not. I mean, when I say an un I mean, intentional psyops, you know, the, the idea is, oh, there's some govern government agency putting them out here to, like, uh, change how the public looks at things and make them more psychopathic and, and manipulable and stuff like that. And that's probably true. Unintentional it just means, like, you know, demons are behind it or, or I don't know, something else. Or there's just some this this, uh, uh, I guess, underlying geist behind how people look at the world nowadays. I mean, that's a that's a. I don't know, unspiritual way to look at it for you atheists out there, but there is a sense in which there is a corrupt force that's animating all this kind of stuff, whether you think that's something spiritual or not. I think it's it's kind of hard to deny because um, even if it's just some kind of cultural norm, there's so many shows and media, like basically all movies nowadays, like you just watch them and they're about like people just killing each other and manipulating each other and, and taking people in real world circumstances and acting in these like totally weird discombobulated ways and then like passing that off to people is normal um i remember like when i was a kid one of the first movies i saw in chinese cin cinema was this movie i it was actually an old black and white movie what was it called um uh, like springtime in a, a small town or a small village or something like that and i just remember watching that and just seeing how like different how, like how different american movies could be because in this in this film, it's about like this guy who's kind of infirm and sick, and he has this uh, young, beautiful wife, and he has a friend from college, I forget where, come to his house, and you know he his wife is always taking care of him, uh, but his wife kind of develops feelings for this friend of his who's visiting, and they kind of they kind of have this connection, right? And so what happens in the end of the film? Well, what happens? At, what what dramatic ways would an American movie in this uh, in this plot point? Well, here's how the Chinese movie ended. They realized. Oh, this it would be the wrong thing for me to leave my husband and to be with this man. So we're we're just not gonna we're not gonna follow that up. That's gonna be it, right? And I just at the time I was so awestruck because like American movies and film they're so corrupt and like pornographic that there's no way that that would happen. Like they would find some way to kill the guy off, or they would have some adulterous affair where they killed him, or like all, all these like it, it was so weird to see people acting in a film like normal humans like I, I don't know it was just so bizarre um and that's one of the reasons like there there are a lot not now there's lots of foreign films that are like 
kind of under the, I guess, cultural influence of the United States. So they will have like degenerate stuff all the time. But it was just like so weird to see a movie like that. And even early American movies, there are some of them like this that are, are still kind of pure and still kind of true to real life. Um, but honestly, um, you know, I don't want to say like Alfred Hitchcock is where it all began, but like there, are, it, it's funny how soon, um, I don't know, this kind of weird, like, let's just throw weird stuff in people's, like uh, murder and, and like adultery and all this kind of stuff in people's faces. Uh, that started very early in American film, frankly. Um, for, what, for whatever pretense, people pretend that like American film was very censored and stuff, but all of that was, you know, basically notional and, and disappeared very quickly. So that's just something to think about. So when, whenever I see, the reason I find it so difficult to watch like film and movies and all this kind of stuff now, I mean, especially uh, TV shows, like TV shows, I mean, just the idea of like sitting there for hours and hours. Like I'm, I'm more okay with movies just because like they're just a movie and it's done. But um, it, it's just so difficult to like watch this kind of stuff now because there's just all this, uh, especially stuff with kids in it, where when it's like kids who are like eight who are just like saying all these obscenities and like, I don't know, like uh, hooking up with each other and stuff. It's just like, who the hell, like, I, I don't know where this even comes from. You know what I mean? It's like this bizarre alternate reality. And I will say this, I'm going to say something very unexpected. Uh, I, I meant to, you know, I didn't think this video would go on that long, but I have stuff to say about this. We make fun of Marvel stuff all the time, and I will continue because I think it's pathetic. Marvel is like the most pathetic, like bizarre. Even as a kid, I was like the superhero stuff. Man, I, I'm glad that's gone for good, but then it wasn't. Um, but the thing is, there's a reason people like the Marvel stuff. Because the Marvel stuff is actually, even though it's like weird superhero, I don't know, tight stuff, the, the plots of them are actually very normal. They have normal character development. They have normal people acting, uh, um, you know, in kind of hammed up superhero ways. But they emotionally treat each other more like humans actually treat each other. And I think there's a reason that normies like those movies. They have a big appeal to them. Because even though they're, it's weird superhero stuff, the humans in them... Like, there's still character development going on. There's still, like, stuff... I don't know, they're, they're still acting in, like, a vaguely moral way. They're, like, driven by, like, things that are not just their own desire to, like, I don't know, uh, just, like, their impulses and stuff. And that, I think, is one of the reasons these movies have taken over the world. Uh, again, I don't endorse them. I think they're, they're kind of... They're very annoying. Um, but, uh, like, I can definitely understand why they have, and I think they've... It's just like, it's an unsold market. Like, just make a normal movie about normal people doing normal things. And I, I think that's actually going to be a big... I mean, I don't... If if Hollywood were actually about, like, appealing to the public uh, rather than, like, subtly manipulating how they think and, like, acculturating them to elite norms, this would be something that we'd see. But we don't see it. So, anyway, that's all the... That is my review of every TV show and movie. They're all bad nowadays. Uh, goodbye.